In classical electromagnetism, polarization density or electric polarization, or simply polarization is the vector field that expresses the density of permanent or induced electric dipole moments in a dielectric material. When a dielectric is placed in an external electric field, its molecules gain electric dipole moment and the dielectric is said to be polarized. The electric dipole moment induced per unit volume of the dielectric material is called the electric polarization of the dielectric. Polarization density also describes how a material responds to an applied electric field as well as the way the material changes the electric field, and can be used to calculate the forces that result from those interactions. It can be compared to magnetization, which is the measure of the corresponding response of a material to a magnetic field in magnetism. The SI unit of measure is coulombs per square meter, and polarization density is represented by a vector p. Topic. Definition An external electric field that is applied to a dielectric material, causes a displacement of bound-charged elements. These are elements which are bound to molecules and are not free to move around the material. Positive charged elements are displaced in the direction of the field, and negative charged elements are displaced opposite to the direction of the field. The molecules may remain neutral in charge, yet an electric dipole moment forms, for a certain volume element, delta V display style delta 5 in the material which carries a dipole moment delta P display style delta math BF P we define the polarization density P P equals delta P delta V Display style math BF P equals frac delta math BF P delta five. In general, the dipole moment delta P display style delta math BF P changes from point to point within the dielectric. Hence, the polarization density P of a dielectric inside an infinitesimal volume dV with an infinitesimal dipole moment dP is P equals d p d v 1 display style math bf p equals mathrm d math bf p over mathrm d v q quad 1 the net charge appearing as a result of polarization is called bound charge and denoted q b display style q underscore b this definition of polarization as a dipole moment per unit volume is widely adopted, though in some cases it can lead to ambiguities and paradoxes. Topic: Other expressions. Let a volume dV be isolated inside the dielectric. Due to polarization, the positive bound charge D Q B plus display style mathrm D Q underscore B caret plus will be displaced a distance D display style math BF D relative to the negative bound charge D Q B minus Display style mathrm d q underscore b caret giving rise to a dipole moment d p equals d q b d display style mathrm d math bf p equals mathrm d q underscore b math bf d substitution of this expression in one yields P equals D Q B D V D display style math BF P equals mathrm D Q underscore B over mathrm D V math BF D since the charge D Q B 
Display style mathem d q underscore b bounded in the volume d v is equal to row b d v display style row underscore b mathem d v. The equation for p becomes p equals row b d two Display style math BF P equals row underscore B math BF D Q quad two where row B display style row underscore B is the density of the bound charge in the volume under consideration. It is clear from the definition above that the dipoles are overall neutral, that row B display style row underscore B is balanced by an equal density of the opposite charge within the volume. Charges that are not balanced are part of the free charge discussed below. Topic: <laughs> Gauss's law for the field of P. For a given volume 5 enclosed by a surface S, the bound charge Q B Display style Q underscore B. Inside it is equal to the flux of P through S taken with the negative sign, or minus Q B equals Display style Q underscore B equals S. Display style script style S P D A three Display style Math BF P C D O T Mathem D Math BF a Q quad three Topic Differential form By the divergence theorem, Gauss's law for the field P can be stated in differential form as minus Rho B equals P Display style row underscore b equals nabla c d o t math b f p, where p is the divergence of the field p through a given surface containing the bound charge density. Row b display style row underscore b. Topic: Relationship between the fields of p and e. Homogeneous, isotropic dielectrics In a homogeneous, linear and isotropic dielectric medium, the polarization is aligned with and proportional to the electric field E P equals chi epsilon 0 E Display style math BF P equals chi var epsilon underscore zero math BF E where epsilon zero is the electric constant and chi is the electric susceptibility of the medium. Note that in this case chi simplifies to a scalar, although more generally it is a tensor. This is a particular case due to the isotropy of the dielectric. Taking into account this relation between P and E, equation three becomes minus q b equals chi epsilon 0 display style q underscore b equals chi var epsilon underscore 0 s display style script style s e d a Display style math BF E C D O T Mathem D Math BF A The expression in the integral is Gauss's law for the field E which yields the total charge, both free Q F Display style Q underscore F and bound Q B Display style Q underscore B in the volume five enclosed by S. 
Therefore, minus Q B equals chi Q total equals chi Q F plus Q B Q B equals minus chi one plus chi Q F. Display style begin aligned Q underscore B and equals chi Q underscore text total and equals chi left Q underscore F plus Q underscore B right three P T right arrow Q underscore B and equals frac chi one plus chi Q underscore F end aligned which can be written in terms terms of free charge and bound charge densities by considering the relationship between the charges their volume charge densities and the given volume rho b equals minus chi 1 plus chi rho f display style rho underscore b equals frac chi 1 plus chi rho underscore f since within a homogeneous dielectric there can be no free charges Rho F equals zero. Display style rho underscore F equals zero. By the last equation, it follows that there is no bulk bound charge in the material. Rho B equals zero. Display style rho underscore B equals zero. And since free charges can get as close to the dielectric as to its topmost surface, it follows that polarization only gives rise to surface bound charge density denoted sigma b display style sigma underscore b to avoid ambiguity with the volume bound charge density rho b display style rho underscore b sigma B display style sigma underscore B may be related to P by the following equation sigma B equals n carrot out P display style sigma underscore B equals math BF hat n underscore text out C D O T math BF P where n Carrot out display style math bf hat n underscore text out is the normal vector to the surface s pointing outwards. See charge density for the rigorous proof. Topic: Anisotropic dielectrics. The class of dielectrics where the polarization density and the electric field are not in the same direction are known as anisotropic materials. In such materials, the ith component of the polarization is related to the jth component of the electric field according to P I equals J E0 chi I J E J display style P underscore I equals sum underscore J epsilon underscore zero chi underscore I J E underscore J. This relation shows, for example, that a material can polarize in the x direction by applying a field in the z direction, and so on. The case of an anisotropic dielectric medium is described by the field of crystal optics. As in most electromagnetism, this relation deals with macroscopic averages of the fields and dipole density, so that one has a continuum approximation of the dielectric materials that neglects atomic scale behaviors. The polarizability of individual particles in the medium can be related to the average susceptibility and polarization density by the clausius masotti relation. In general, the susceptibility is a function of the frequency omega of the applied field. When the field is an arbitrary function of time t, the polarization is a convolution of the Fourier transform of chi omega with the et. This reflects the fact that the dipoles in the material cannot respond instantaneously to the applied field, and causality considerations lead to the kramers kronig relations. If the polarization P is not linearly proportional to the electric field E, the medium is termed nonlinear and is described by the field of nonlinear optics. To a good approximation for sufficiently weak fields, assuming no permanent dipole moments are present, p is usually given by a Taylor series in E whose coefficients are the nonlinear susceptibilities p 
P I E zero equals J Chi I J one E J plus J K Chi I J K two E J E K plus J K Chi I J K three E J E K E plus Display style frac p underscore i epsilon underscore zero equals sum underscore j chi underscore i j carrot one e underscore j plus sum underscore j k chi underscore i j k carrot two e underscore j e underscore k plus sum underscore j k l chi underscore i j k l carrot three e underscore j e underscore k e underscore l plus c dots where chi 1 display style chi caret 1 is the linear susceptibility chi 2 display style chi caret 2 is the second order susceptibility describing phenomena such as the pockel's effect optical rectification and second harmonic generation and chi 3 Display style chi caret three is the third order susceptibility, describing third order effects such as the Kerr effect and electric field induced optical rectification. In ferroelectric materials, there is no one to one correspondence between P and E at all because of hysteresis. Topic: <laughs> Polarization density in Maxwell's equations. The behavior of electric fields E and D, magnetic fields B, H, charge density rho, and current density J are described by Maxwell's equations in matter. Topic: <laughs> Relations between E, D and P. In terms of volume charge densities, the free charge density rho F Display style rho underscore f is given by rho f equals rho minus rho b. Display style rho underscore f equals rho rho underscore b, where rho display style rho is the total charge density. By considering the relationship of each of the terms of the above equation to the divergence of their corresponding fields of the electric displacement field D, E and P in that order, this can be written as D equals epsilon 0 E plus P Display style math bf d equals var epsilon underscore zero math bf e plus math bf p. This is known as the constitutive equation for electric fields. Here epsilon zero is the electric permittivity of empty space. In this equation, p is the negative of the field induced in the material when the fixed charges the dipoles shift in response to the total underlying field e whereas d is the field due to the remaining charges known as free charges in general p varies as a function of e depending on the medium as described later in the article in many problems it is more convenient to work with d and the free charges than with e and the total charge therefore a polarized medium by way of green's theorem can be split into four components the bound volumetric charge density rho b equals minus p display style rho underscore b equals nabla c d o t math b f p the bound surface charge density sigma b equals 
n caret out p display style sigma underscore b equals math bf hat n underscore text out c d o t math bf p the free volumetric charge density rho f equals d display style rho underscore f equals nabla c d o t math bf d the free surface charge density sigma f equals n caret out d display style sigma underscore f equals math bf hat n underscore text out c d o t math bf d topic time varying polarization density When the polarization density changes with time, the time-dependent bound charge density creates a polarization current density of J P equals P T display style math BF J underscore P equals frac partial math BF P partial T so that the total current density that enters Maxwell's equations is given by J equals j f plus times m plus p t display style math bf j equals math bf j underscore f plus nabla times math bf m plus frac partial math bf p partial t where Jf is the free charge current density, and the second term is the magnetization current density also called the bound current density, a contribution from atomic scale magnetic dipoles when they are present. <laughs> Polarization ambiguity The polarization inside a solid is not, in general, uniquely defined, it depends on which electrons are paired up with which nuclei. See figure. In other words, two people, Alice and Bob, looking at the same solid, may calculate different values of p, and neither of them will be wrong. Alice and Bob will agree on the microscopic electric field E in the solid, but disagree on the value of the displacement field d equals Epsilon zero E plus P display style math BF D equals var epsilon underscore zero math BF E plus math BF P. They will both find that Gauss's law is correct. D equals rho F Display style nabla c d o t math b f d equals rho underscore f, but they will disagree on the value of rho f. Display style rho underscore f at the surfaces of the crystal. For example, if Alice interprets the bulk solid to consist of dipoles with positive ions above and negative ions below, but the real crystal has negative ions as the topmost surface, then Alice will say that there is a negative free charge at the topmost surface. She might view this as a type of surface reconstruction. On the other hand, even though the value of P is not uniquely defined in a bulk solid, variations in P are uniquely defined. If the crystal is gradually changed from one structure to another, there will be a current inside each unit cell, due to the motion of nuclei and electrons. This current results in a macroscopic transfer of charge from one side of the crystal to the other, and therefore it can be measured with an ammeter like any other current when wires are attached to the opposite sides of the crystal. The time integral of the current is proportional to the change in p. The current can be calculated in computer simulations such as density functional theory. The formula for the integrated current turns out to be a type of Berry's phase. The non-uniqueness of p is not problematic because every measurable consequence of p is in fact a consequence of a continuous change in p. For example, when a material is put in an electric field E, which ramps up from zero to a finite value, the material's electronic and ionic positions slightly shift. 
This changes P, and the result is electric susceptibility and hence permittivity. As another example, when some crystals are heated, their electronic and ionic positions slightly shift, changing P. The result is pyroelectricity. In all cases, the properties of interest are associated with a change in P. Even though the polarization is in principle non-unique, in practice it is often not always, defined by convention in a specific, unique way. For example, in a perfectly centrosymmetric crystal, P is usually defined by convention to be exactly zero. As another example, in a ferroelectric crystal, there is typically a centrosymmetric configuration above the Curie temperature, and P is defined there by convention to be zero. As the crystal is cooled below the Curie temperature, it shifts gradually into a more and more non-centrosymmetric configuration. Since gradual changes in P are uniquely defined, this convention gives a unique value of P for the ferroelectric crystal, even below its Curie temperature. Another problem in the definition of P is related to the arbitrary choice of the unit volume, or more precisely to the system scale. For example, at microscopic scale a plasma can be regarded as a gas of free charges, thus P should be zero. On the contrary, at a macroscopic scale the same plasma can be described as a continuous medium, exhibiting a permittivity epsilon omega does not equal 1 display style var epsilon omega neq1 and thus a net polarization p does not equal 0 topic see also crystal structure electric polarization disambiguation topic references <references>